Hello everybody, welcome back, and today we're back on the Hardcore World. Uh, a few updates, I got a parrot, I was just kind of exploring in the jungle and I found one, so I brought him home. I haven't named him yet, same thing with the dog, you guys can name him, and I have the horse now, also you guys can name him. Or, I don't care, names are whatever names you guys want. So, we're going to take this horse, and I have worked on the villager breeder. Not a ton, but the main thing I did was I made a sheep farm, or a sheep pen, so we could get more sheep, so we could produce more uh, wool, so we could, you know, get the beds in faster. But, as you guys know, um, if you guys watched the last episode, we built this villager breeder. And the, it's going to work a lot like my other villager breeders. Actually, this can go now. It's going to work a lot like the other ones. It's going to have a main railway system, so I can move villagers in and out with the minecarts. And it's going to have just a ton of beds for, you know, storage. Okay, I'm going to ride you again. So, that, so what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try to, we're going to move the villagers in because that's important. And we're gonna hopefully fill all of the uh, the beds in. So what I wanna do first is I wanna move the villagers in because that's definitely the more tedious of the two jobs. But I don't have enough rails and I've run out of iron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get geared up and I'm gonna, gonna just go and mine. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to record me mining and if you guys see the mining, I obviously deemed it, you know, it was short enough or it was just eventful enough where uh, it warranted being in there. I'll make, yeah, just, it'll depend on what I decide when I'm editing this or what happens. Just because I don't know what's going to happen. That's the whole point. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get ready to go, and then I'll come back. Alright, let's get going. Hey. Look, um, we got a ravine. So, let's, um, let's be careful here. Um, yeah, we can get down there. I'll just leave this water bucket up here. Oh, oh, okay. We're good. All right, let's go. Find anything cool. That is very good. Um, we can use these rails from this to, uh, There we go, guys. That's not terrible. We got a spider spawner. And we got the cords. So, that'll be good. If we, ever, if we don't find a spawner closer to home. Other than that, um, we got a good amount of stuff. I'm gonna head up. So, I'm gonna go home. Hey! So, yeah. Now we're gonna work on getting beds. I got... I got the villagers in the in the place. You know, I got them over here. See. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to have to breed up some sheep, and I just want to talk about a few things while I'm um uh, while I'm here. 
because this is going to take a little bit of work and it's going to take a little bit of time. So I just want to talk about a few things. For the hardcore world, I'm I'm excited because uh, you know it's it's a lot of it's it's kind of nerve wracking, but it's also kind of fun knowing that at any time while I'm playing, no matter if I'm recording or I'm doing something important or doing something dumb, I can just lose the world. Like, just like that, I can just lose the whole thing. I don't know. That kind of just makes it like more fun. It's like. Like, if I die in a normal world, I can just be like, okay, it's kind of an inconvenience because, you know, I get to go get all my stuff again. But other than that, there's no real consequences to dying, I guess. But here, it means literally everything. You know, you either have your world or you don't. So that's why um, I think we're going to... We're going to need to invest in some good armor. Which is obviously why we're here, you know, working on, like, villagers and stuff, because that's how we get those enchantments. You know, we, um, we trade with villagers. Uh, this is how I do it. So that's kind of the plan at the moment. Um, I do have to also chop down some trees. We can make an iron axe. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan right now. Because it'd be nice to be... Well, because... Well, first of all, what I gotta do is I gotta get more diamonds. Because I... <laughs> I'm working on iron tools right now. I don't think I have any spare diamonds sitting around the house at the moment. Do I? No. I have no diamonds sitting around the house. So that's what we're gonna work on probably next time. Because what's the point in having villagers with all the books and stuff if you don't have any of the trading materials i guess now the trading materials because that that's easy to get that stuff is you know at spider farm or another mob spawner that stuff's easy you don't have like the uh dot you don't have the stuff to enchant you know because that's kind of the whole, it's kind of the whole thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, I have to have all that stuff. So that's probably what I want to do next time because that's a it's a pretty big in, it's a pretty big um, project to work on. But it's something I can do. I mean, I don't, I've done it before. I've just, you know, I've never really um, done it in post. 1.17 I've never really started from scratch and just and just like restarted I've never done that in post 1.17 sorry I did do something I, I've never done it and I can't tell whether diamonds are easier or harder to get for early game it's kind of hard to tell you know um but we're going to try to play it safe. You know, we're going to use water buckets. We're going to try to stay out of major mob sites. Yeah, we're just going to try to do our best because I'd rather keep this world around for a little bit longer, huh? Because <laughs> I, I like how it's looking so far. I mean, we got the villager breeder, which, you know, it's not my best build, but... It's a suitable, it's a suitable start, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say. Because, you know, it's just... It's not that big of a deal. It's a villager breeder. It's not supposed to look nice. It's just supposed to be... Oh my gosh. It's just supposed to be, you know, workable. This is, the, this is why I live on the beach. Because mobs can't sneak up on me. I'm going to get this last tree. And then we're going to head back. Just trying to get this wood in advance. So we're not doing it later when I have all the wool from the sheep you know because this is definitely one of the longest processes is you know well once i get a good flock of sheep i'll be it'll be much easier but that's kind of that's also a big endeavor as well getting a good flock of sheep ready to go so that's a pretty big undertaking but Oh, it's lightning. 
Okay, I'd rather not be outside because I don't... Uh, what are the chances of getting struck by lightning in Minecraft? Like, one in 500,000? Oh my gosh. No. No. Leave me alone. Nope. It's like one in 500,000, but you know what? On the off chance that I do just get struck or like one of my property, I'm like... Something of mine gets struck, I'd rather not risk that, and I don't want to die here, because you know, now it's night, it's not just thunderstorming, it's also night. So we got double whammy. So we're going to head back to the safety and comfort of our walls. We're going to tie the horse up. Nine. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Go. And in the house, in the house. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that was close. I had my bed on me, but even with that, I was not wanting to sleep outside because that's how you die. But other than that, we got a few beds at least. So I will not be able to complete the Villager Reader in this episode. I'm just on a kind of a time constraint today, and I don't have all that much time. What I want to do is I want to just breed up a few villagers. So we'll, um, we'll share them once or twice more. And then we'll uh, we'll go breed up the villagers because I got I got a ton of bread with me, and it's like three bread to a villager or something. It's really cheap with bread, and yeah, that's what I want to do for the rest of the time. Kind of a shorter episode, I know. It's just you know uh, I had to. I wanted to show you guys kind of what the process looks like because trust me, this isn't even the most tedious process of villagers. It's the trading. Um, especially if you're doing what I do for librarians. You know, you gotta cycle their books again and again and again and again until you get the books that you want. Which is a pain because it's just, it's, it, it is a pain. That's just basically it. But it's worth it in the long run because, you know, after you enchant everything, if you ever need something else, like enchantment table is all well and good, but it's probably cheaper, probably takes less time and resources, but, you know, you don't have that, like, steady stream of books. So I need to, like, enchant a new set because, say, one of my items broke or I lost it or something, threw it in a shulker box and threw it in lava. I can just remake it with the books I already have ready. Okay, I'm gonna just, we're just gonna go, oh, are they gonna give me three? Probably not. Yoink, oh no, I did, okay, 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 that's perfect, that's perfect, what is it? 21 divided by three? Yeah, that's, that's a good amount. That's seven beds, so we can make seven little babies. Do we have a bell? I think I stole a bell. I should just get one while I'm here because, you know. It helps for when I'm trying to move villagers. I also found two golden apples while I was in that uh, mine shaft. Which is pretty cool, not gonna lie. But yeah, other than that, we're gonna head over here. And I put a fence post outside of my major things so I can just tie my horse up and I can just ride it in between. Just to avoid walking, to avoid using a ton of food. Okay, other than that, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we use the white wool. Well, of course I'm gonna use white wool. Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh I'm gonna make sure I use the birch wood. Because I want to save the oak for later, I guess, is all I want to do. Of course, I'm using my wall. That's the only wall I have. Respawn point doesn't really matter. Bell. Okay. Your villagers. Okay, I don't want to give it all my bread, but there. There's 32. Now, breed. No, come. Go over there. Go over there. No. You, go. Make pepes. 
What are you waiting for? What? What? He? They don't make babies. Anyways, let's just get this track, I guess, running. All I gotta do is get it on the same track. Oh, there they, there they go. All I gotta do is make sure it f feeds into here, and then it just kind of trails out. Bang. I guess we could, um, hmm. How about, this wasn't probably the best ergonomic design. It looks cool, but it probably wasn't the best ergonomics. Oh yeah, I guess they won't be Savannah villagers. Maybe if they're born like right over here. No. Savannah, ends, Savannah starts up there. Let's put a track. How many is that? Three. We'll do four. Well, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, that actually works. Let's figure this. Let's figure the rail system out because we got time. And while they, you know, make babies, we can figure this out. So, what would be the most like room, like space efficient? layout I'll steal the beds from over here just to just to get an idea of what i want to do um so we have a so we could do that and we could do, do this hmm. <laughs> i guess we can use these for torches We'll make use of the empty space. Eventually, we can figure something out. But yeah, I think that that's fine. Honestly, um, one, two, three, four. It's just to you know make it so it's easy to grab villagers versus you know having them having only the mid tracks. But yeah, other than that, you know, got some villagers. They'll keep breeding throughout the day. Uh, other than that, oh, there's a cat, which means it is a village. I don't think iron golems will spawn, but what I'm going to do, if they do spawn, I'm just going to tie them. I'm going to put a fence post right there and just attach them. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this shorter episode. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.